everyone, this is Boris the Midwife and you are all welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to take this opportunity to wish you all a very big happy new month. So in this video, I'll be talking about the benefits of breastfeeding to both the mother and the baby. So I'm going to move straight to the benefits of breastfeeding to the mother. The first benefit of breastfeeding for mothers are it helps prevent ovarian and breast cancers. Most researchers have seen that women who turn to breastfeed their babies have a decreased risk of having ovarian and breast cancers as opposed to women who don't practice breastfeeding at all. And as another benefit of breastfeeding is that it promotes good uterine involution. Uterine involution is a process that your womb takes to get back to its known pregnancy state. For women who breastfeed, this period or this process takes a shorter time rather than women who don't breastfeed at all. Because we all know your uterus, before you got pregnant, it was in your pelvis. And after delivery, it goes, it's around your abdomen. That's at the level of your umbilicus. But after delivery, there's a process that has to occur, which is known as uterine involution. And this process takes time. It can take about six weeks or more. But for women who breastfeed, that will practice breastfeeding, it will take a shorter time for this uterus to go back to its, to its known pregnancy state, rather than women who don't breastfeed at all. And the third benefit of breastfeeding is it promotes less bleeding after delivery. That is, women who breastfeed turn to experience less bleeding after delivery. That's why it's always advisable to induce breastfeeding within an hour after delivery. Because when the baby is sucking, there is a promotion or the creation of, an, of a hormone or chemical known as oxytocin. What this oxytocin does is that it causes uterine contractions. And when there are uterine contractions, there is decreased bleeding. And another advantage of breastfeeding for mothers is that it will help to prevent unwanted pregnancies. Yes, breastfeeding is a method of family planning and it is known as lactational amenorrhea. But this is most effective for women who practice what we call exclusive breastfeeding. Exclusive breastfeeding is when your baby feeds on breast milk alone and nothing else, not even a sip of water. So women who practice exclusive breastfeeding tend not to get pregnant because during exclusive breastfeeding, ovulation and menses are being suppressed. So this will really decrease your chances of getting pregnant because you know your uterus have to rest for a period of about 15 months if you get birth normally before you can have another baby so be very uncomfortable if you are breastfeeding the baby of about four months old and have another pregnancy so that would be really uncomfortable so the advantage of breastfeeding breastfeeding your baby exclusively will prevent you from getting pregnant because breastfeeding is a natural method of family planning called lactational amenorrhea. And another advantage of breastfeeding for breastfeeding mothers is that it's cheaper. You can get breast, you can make the uh, breast milk available for your child at any point in time. And breast milk is very rich and it has all the nutrients that your child needs. And now let's move to the benefits of breastfeeding for the baby. Researchers have also proven that babies who are breastfed or breast, breastfed rather for a period of about six months tend to have a higher IQ than babies who are not breastfed at all. Another advantage of breast milk to the baby is that breast milk is very conscious of the fact that the baby has a small and immature digestive system. That is why during the third trimester or immediately after delivery, the type of breast milk that is being secreted is known as colostrum. And this form of breast milk is really conscious of the fact that the baby's digestive system is still trying to develop. So what it does is that it delivers its nutrients 
to the baby in a concentrated birth in a low volume form because the baby's digestive system is not fully developed. So this colostrum is very rich and it has all the nutrients that the baby needs. This colostrum is thick and yellowish in color, but it has everything that the baby needs. So it doesn't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to give your baby sips of water or some other mixed form of feeding after delivery. So I'm going to tell you some other advantages or some other benefits of this particular form of breast milk. This particular form of breast milk known as colostrum also has a mild laxative effect. A laxative is a substance that helps to promote digestion and elimination of waste. So what this, digest, this uh, colostrum does is that it helps the baby to send out its first stool which is called meconium and when this meconium is being sent out it also helps the baby to eliminate what we call bilirubin bilirubin is a form of waste material made up of dead red blood cells and when this bilirubin is in excess in the baby's system it turns to cause what, cause what is known as jaundice neonatal jaundice this is why after delivery you see some baby with excess yellowish coloration of their skin this is not a good sign so colostrum is a very healthy form of breast milk this is the advantage of women who breast who will give their baby breast milk this first form of breastfeeding known as colostrum is very good for your baby it's not something you should be afraid of and to to express and throw out it's something you need to feed the baby with because it has a lot of nutrients and it has a lot of benefits for this baby and another benefit of this colostrum like i said this colostrum has a lot of benefit another benefit what it does is that it provides antibodies for the baby and this colostrum about two thirds of this colostrum is made up of white blood cells and we all know that white blood cells are, in, are natural defenders of the body this colostrum helps to provide the baby with natural defending mechanisms. So this will prevent your baby from getting ill easily. You see most babies who are being breastfed by their mothers will have a lower chance of contacting the flu or other allergies. And another advantage of breast milk to the baby is that breast milk is clean. This is why you will rarely see babies who are being breastfed exclusively. That is, babies who don't take any other mixed feeding. You rarely see them have diarrhea. This is because breast milk is very clean. But if you are the type that gives your baby mixed feeding, it might cause your baby diarrhea because it takes a lot of different procedures for you to clean the materials and prepare this feeding. But breast milk is available and clean for your baby. And we also have other benefits of breastfeeding like breastfeeding is very very cheap your baby you don't because consistency is all that matters you might not always have money to get what your baby really need because the baby really needs some particular forms of feeding but breastfeeding has been made accessible and available for your baby and it has a perfect room temperature you don't need to heat it up or put it in the freezer it is readily available for your baby at every point in time and at the perfect temperature. So these are the advantages of both breast of breast milk to both the mother and the baby. So guys, we have come to the end of this episode. I hope you guys love this video. Comment below, tell me what you think, and you know you can always tell me a topic you like for me to create a video on, and I'll do my best to make that happen. And please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you will get all notifications whenever I upload a new video. This has been Boris, the midwife, and see you all in my next video.